Pokemon booster packs are going to decide my team for this hardcore Nuzlocke. The rules are as follows. A Pokemon that faints is dead, no items in battle, set mode, and no overleveling. The difference is that instead of catching the usual way, the next card I pull determines my next encounter. So instead of a typical starter, I'll get something totally random, like... B? Oh, it's Turtwig! It's kind of boring. Like, it's already a starter. I continue with Route 201. Okay, next one is... Trapinch! Route 202. Piplup, nice. Route 219. Shroomish, Route 218. Purloin, okay, that's not in this game, so that's a failed encounter. Route 204. Mm. Route 203, failed encounter. Breloom, nice. So we got like two Shroomishes pretty much. Orber Gate, um, Fighting Energy, and Orber Mine. And Tropius. As you can see during my first gym battle with Roark, I already have some great Pokemon and there are more to come. So we're going to just add a few more restrictions to make this harder. Held items will not be allowed and all 100 TMs are banned. These include moves like Swords Dance, Substitute, and Calm Mind. So all moves must be learned via level up. Even with those restrictions, Team Galactic stands no chance when faced against an early game Breloom using Mock Punch. The first time I actually have to think for myself in a battle is versus the second gym leader, Gardenia. I still have the advantage with my flying type Tropius as she blows away the cherries with a few gusts and Turtwig suffers the same fate. Roserade on the other hand is faster and poisons us with Poison Sting. Two gusts from Tropius bring the flower right below half of its HP, procking them to eat their citrus berry. With my dinosaur now in lethal range, at 17 HP, I switch to the all-star himself, Breloom, who gets poisoned immediately as he enters the field. Roserade changes her attack to Grass Knot, putting another one of my mons in kill range, then Breloom responds with Headbutt. Gardenia already wasted her potions on her earlier Pokemon, which meant my Mushroom Kangaroo could finish things off with a Mach Punch, winning us the second gym badge. Then something very special happens after Breloom socks Jupiter Skunk in the face. Shroomish evolves, which brings the most iconic set of twins since Mary Kay and Ashley. Hello, we're twins, we're twins, yes sir, and when we switch, you can't tell which is which. Now you may be thinking that Crasher Wake is going to be a piece of cake since he's a water gym leader and I have four grass types on my team. However, his Gyarados and Floatzel are faster than everyone on my team and both have Ice Fang, which is super effective against five of my Mons. Not to mention the Intimidate from Gyarados is annoying too. He chomps right away with Ice Fang while Breloom plants the Leech Seed. I make the tough decision to sack one of my Breloom's in order to allow another Pokemon to come in safely. Breloom went down with a fight, landing a critical hit Mach Punch before dying to another Ice Ice Fang. Can Grotto avenge his friend? So we're gonna go for Razor Leaf here. We had to hope for no flinch or freeze. Oh! Be above 42. Be above 42. Be above 42. Be above 42. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, what? No! What is this? We got flinched then frozen. I think we can keep him alive. We're gonna keep him alive. Flail, what the crap is going on here? And oh, I forgot about Super Potion. I think this still might be okay. Glitch? Wait a second, did the game just glitch on me? I need Breloom for for Float Soul, so we're not we're not risking Breloom at all here. Don't you dare freeze! No! What? We might lose this battle. We might lose a run. At this point, I had to fall back on a pivoting strategy. Gyarados wants to crunch Primplup, so I swap in Tropius to take in that attack, then have my Grass Flying type bait the Ice Fang, which Primplup resists when I throw him back in. Many turns later, which included Crasher Wake healing, the tagging in and out strategy prevailed, besting the Gyarados. But can my team bring this match home? Oh no, we lost! Holy crap, I think we just lost. The dude's got Aqua Jet. Unless he's dumb, let's just hope he's dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dang, he's not dumb, he's not dumb. Okay, well, attempt two. Attempt two. <laughs> Ooh. 
Gosh dang that Gyarados. Morgrim is definitely not in this game. Failed encounter. And Claydol. Okay, so our second Pokemon will be... Dedene, that's a failed encounter. Cupchu, that's a failed encounter. Shinx, okay. We're getting some pretty basic Pokemon, but Claydol is interesting. Uh, Farfetch'd is in this game, I guess. <laughs> Execute, okay. Motham. Oh, Lucario! Oh, and it's shiny! Shiny Lucario! <laughs> I said if it I said if it's holographic, we'd make it shiny. To make this second attempt more interesting, I'll be adding the species clause, which means I can only use one of each evolution line. That way we don't get another double Breloom situation like last time. After sweeping Roark, Gardenia fell to the wrath of Farfetch'd, and since Motham was also a holographic card, I of course had to make him shiny. Then I decided I would challenge Maylene first this time, rather than crash her wake. But before I tell you that story, I gotta show you how close this fight was with Ace Trainer Dennis. He has a Gyarados, which for obvious reasons I hate in this Nuzlocke, which also gets insane luck like flinching my execute. So I started praying to Lord Helix for much needed RNG. Ice Fang? Bite? Yeah, this is Karados being so stupid. What is <laughs> Yo, this Gyarados is so dumb. <laughs> this <laughs> Anyways, before entering the next gym, I thought it'd be wise to dig in the Grand Underground for Leaf Stone to evolve Execute, which would help immensely when facing the next two gym leaders. Although this was not the case. I literally spent five hours, five freaking hours looking for a Leaf Stone and I didn't find one. I literally found every other Evolution Stone, some plates and 10 heart scales, but not one dang Leaf Stone. In return, could you please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel? It really means a lot to me since these videos take a long time to make. If you don't subscribe and like the video, I will forever be trapped down here and die. I know you don't want that on your conscience. Well, thanks for doing that. I didn't get the Executor like I wanted, but it's time for Farfetch to lead the battle against Maylene. Menatite rudely flashes my duck, which did not matter at all since Aerial Ace never misses. Machoke is next on the chopping block and unlike his predecessor, survives the Aerial Ace. Then Rock Tomb's Farfetch, which means he can now outspeed and knock out the bird. I send in Claydol to get the revenge slowly with a couple rapid spins which raises our speed just enough to be faster than Lucario. Claydol uses extra sensory repeatedly while Lucario screeches and scratches us with a metal claw. In the end, we won the third gym badge. And since someone died, that brings us a new Pokemon card being... Staravia. Yo, Staravia's nuts. Not exactly past Andrew. This Staravia ended up having the reckless ability as opposed to the better intimidate ability. At least it's followed by Luxio evolving into Luxray. Just in time for Crash Your Wake. Here we go again. Okay, the point of Motham is to get rid of that berry. I hate that thing so much. I just legit hate that thing so much. I want Motham alive. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm going all out, baby. Shiny number two. Yeah, I say we plot, because we might as well plot if we're not gonna kill in one hit, right? Crunch. Ooh, why? How is this guy getting every lucky thing? Even with crits, we're fine here. Okay, so Gyarados is dead. That's good. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, oh, that's fine. That's the Spadef. Our Spadef was fine. Cool. All right, all right. Gyarados gone. Oh, baby. Okay. okay this is where it would have been much better. Is it? Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's actually cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, no. I meant to reflect first. Oh, shoot. Don't kill it. Okay, good, good. That's good. Oh, that's good, because then we can waste some healing. That's actually pretty dang good. Okay. That's actually actually preferred. Because Reflect will last longer now. So. Why why would he not heal? He's gotta heal. He's gotta. He's gotta heal. He does. Okay, cool. Does that fully heal, though, is the question. It 
doesn't. Oh, so that's a kill. So we don't have reflect up now. Okay, it's it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, here's here's the nightmare. Here is the nightmare. Best to put a reflect. Reflect is best long term, I think, if we live. Which we do. Okay, we put reflect up. I think we should actually mega drain. Oh, aqua jet, we take those. Oh my gosh, dude, this guy's throwing. Oh my goodness, we just freaking won. We just freaking won with no deaths. Oh, berry. I forgot about the berry. My bad, calm down. Oh, he's gonna potion it up. He's so gonna potion it up. One more turn to reflect, I think. So we can, we just make a drain here. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Unless it freezes or something. Ah, stop! <laughs> no! No! What? I'm sick of this guy! Reflect is gone too! Boom, baby. The name's Luxray. Nice to meet you. Intimidate your booty. Okay. Fine. Just don't freaking freeze. That's game. Cool. Finally, Crash Your Wake has been defeated. He did kind of throw not going for Ice Fang consistently when Execute was on the field, but we take those and move along. Hey, Cynthia, you got anything that can get rid of these Psyducks? Hmm, try this. I died! Yo, Sabrits, what's up, man? The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Like Cyrus, I too was lost in my life. I always wanted to try out YouTube, but always felt like such a boomer when it came to even the simplest editing skills. I didn't even know how to make a jump cut. But that's where today's sponsor came in to save the day, Skillshare. I got started on YouTube all thanks to them. One day, I was just casually watching some YouTube, then the influencer started talking about Skillshare. I personally didn't have a lot of money to risk at the time since I had just moved and had my first foster placement. However, they offered a free trial and had a guide to DaVinci Resolve video editing editing by Christopher Navarre. The video editing software was free too, which meant I had no financial risk when starting my YouTube channel. Now look how far I've come. Whether it's video editing, graphic design, business, lifestyle, or another specific skill, you can join Skillshare and the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And if you prefer to learn in Spanish, French, Portuguese, or German, Skillshare's entire catalog is available with subtitles. So be sure you're one of the first 1,000 to click my link in the description below. Thanks, Skillshare. Right before the fifth gym, Staravia evolves into Star Raptor, but the real star to go up against Fantina is Motham. Our bug is slower than her entire team. That is, until after the pointless strength sap, Motham begins to quiver dance, boosting his special attack, special defense, and speed. I go for it again, and this time Drifloom goes for the burn with Will-O-Wisp. I needed one more quiver dance, but opted to start attacking with Psybeam since a critical hit hex could kill us. However, they flew up to the sky, which thankfully is not a problem since Motham can learn protect naturally. One more Psybeam pops the balloon. Gengar is dead meat too, being outsped and shot with a Psybeam as well. Ms. Magius is the last ghost to bust with Psybeam, but it does pull off a Confuse Ray, which hopefully doesn't bring any shenanigans with it. Motham sees past the confusion and Psybeams again while Ms. Magius vanishes, beginning the Phantom Force. Good thing for us, Ms. Magius has a horrendous physical attack stat. So I have Motham recover HP with Roost before being attacked. Then Fantina heals with Hyper Potion as we continue to Psybeam. This cycle was repeated for a few rounds and it was just a matter of time before Fantina ran out of potions leading to Motham's victory. Fitz gym badge is ours. More importantly, the surf HM technique is unlocked, which means we can cruise on over to the back entrance of Floroma Meadow where we find the most coveted treasure of all, the Leaf Stone. And sorry to all the Barry fans out there. Wait, are there such thing as Barry fans? I just haven't covered any of our duels since they've been completely one-sided. After digging a grave for Barry with Byron's shovel, we begin the six gym challenge. And you know what? I'm gonna use that shovel to dig him a grave too, cause this is probably the easiest gym battle since gym number one, which was ironically his son. I just had to be careful not to KO the bronze ore too early since it puts up the trick room turn one, making the slower mons faster the next five turns. I stalled with Leech Seed, then switched to Luxray while they lollygagged with Sandstorm. We bit them, then on the same turn they healed. I had Luxray Volt Switch for Star Raptor, which just so happened to be the last turn of trick room. I tell 
the bird to get up close with the combat, then peace out at the side of Steelix. Surprisingly, it went for Gyro Ball instead of Thunderfang. I guess the speed difference was that drastic. Whatever. Claydol corners the Steel Snake with Earth Powers while it lives on 1 HP with Sturdy, healing every turn until they were out of potions. Bastiodon was last and experienced the same story Steelix did, being walled with Claydol's typing and harassed by Earth Powers. Six gym badges ours. Listen here, kids. Some 30-year-old loser has bought all the Pokemon cards at the local store. Will you three help me track him down? Uh, yeah, sure. Totally not me. <laughs> Who said it was me? Oh, oh no one? <laughs> well, I'm just saying it wasn't me. <laughs> ah, crap. Now they probably think I did it. I'll have to head to Lake Valor to frame Saturn. If he blew up a lake, it's believable he'll steal some Pokemon cards, too. For some reason, he's not too keen about this plan, so I guess I'll just have to kidnap him. Luxray chomps Kadabra back to the magic store. Mothamree stops the metal plate back to storage and Claydol mind crushes the toxic frog. Don, Don, Saturn stole the Pokemon cards. <gasps> he did not. Don, don't listen to Andrew. Ah, oh, gosh. Looks like I'll have to humble another commander to protect my image. Who's got the better kitty? Well, I do, of course. Get that hideous thing out of here. Professor, what are you doing here? Uh, I'll just have to hang around the North Pole for a bit until all of this blows over. And what the hell? I'll get the seventh gym badge while I'm here. Let's go, Candace. Things start off great with Lucario one-shotting the Snover with an Aura Sphere. Sneasel's a little trickier. She's faster than us digging right away into the ground, so I swap in Sir Raptor to fly above the incoming attack. Candace then gets greedy with the home claws, which allows my bird to plummel them with close combat. The drawback with it was it lowered our defense, so I had to tag in Luxray to intimidate the Medicham, which slams us with the rock slide. Still, Luxray can't do much here since its best move at this level is Spark. I gotta bring back in Star Raptor since it's the only one on the team who's faster than Candace's fighter. Woke up. Oh, screw you. Okay. I think we got to risk Star Raptor. Star Raptor really I don't care about. It's, it doesn't have intimidate as reckless, so... <sighs> that bulk up might have saved it. Because even if it didn't kill... Oh, jeez, it died. Because even if it didn't kill, the hail would have took it out. An unfortunate death, but at least it puts us in a position to win this thing. Luxray comes back in, weakening them with another Intimidate. Candace heals with a full restore while I scary face them, dropping their speed in half. Next turn, I Volt Switch out Luxray for Claydol while Medicham does this again. Bulk up? What? <laughs> Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, what? Ice punch. Luckily, even after Candace heals Medicham again, Claydol's Earth powers inflict over 50% damage, which results in Claydol knocking them out the next turn. Just one more to go. Obama Snow. I had to switch out Claydol for Lucario to take in that blizzard. However, that snowman has earthquakes, so there's no way Lucario is going to come out of this alive. I think Lucario's gonna die, but I think it's the best way to only lose two people. Like, there's another way to... Ah, freak. Aurora Veil? Wait, what? Aurora Veil? Wait a second. That's game. They, they totally threw. I thought it was gonna Earthquake. Wow. Uh, sure. Only one death from this match. Lucario should have died, but I guess Candace really wanted that Aurora Veil. Seventh gym badge is ours. Let's find out who will be Star Raptor's replacement. Do, do I want float soul? This dude ruined my life. <laughs> hey, Jamboka Gabbly. What? After all you put me through, you expect me to help you just like that? Just like that? Ugh. Fine. Not only do I have to team up with my past enemy, Floatso also has a minus attack nature, which makes it hard to use. Maybe I'll find an alternative use for it. Meanwhile, Luxray solo Cyrus's discount team, and same goes for Saturn. Hey, Barry. Stop. <sighs> Living in the shadow of the big bad bat. Let me kiss you. Barry, snap out of it! I'm betting her lips are poisoned. Luxray, start biting them bronzors. Oh, come on, Barry. I bet you told your munchlax to keep that bronzor alive. Lucky for me, both of them kept targeting Barry's munchlax, which I happily accept. Once Perugly comes out, I change my aim to her, having Luxray spark them. Then Barry sneaks in there with Star Raptor, stealing my kill with close combat on both the Perugly and bronzor. I add a kill to my score, sparking the Golbat, and Jupiter, a little upset for Barry denying her love, burns his Star Raptor to a crisp with a flamethrower. Barry returns retaliates with his Heracross using Brick Break, and I finish off the double battle with Luxray Volt switching out for Floatzel, who snipes down the bat with Aqua Jet. You got some real issues with women, you know that? You just couldn't stand it. She was going to kiss me and not you. So, we meet again.
again, Buzz Lightyear, for the last time. Not today, Cyrus. Luxray, Spark. What? It didn't kill? Eh, whatever. Cyrus wastes his turn with Defog. So I have Luxray Spark again. A few times, actually, since Cyrus kept healing. Once I saw him sending Gyarados, I began pivoting with Volt Switch to Claydol, which levitates above the Earthquake, then back into Luxray to intimidate the Gyarados and knock it out with Spark. The same strat applied to Weavile. So Claydol would avoid the dig, Rock Tomb the Weavile to slow them down, then shifts in Lucario to Aura Sphere that Weasel. Cyrus's evil plans are finally thwarted as Claydol uses extra sensory on Crobat twice, saving the world. Now to execute my super duper big strategy for Dialga. Run. Yep, ran all the way to Volcaner. No time to waste. Now, I was expecting this Raichu to Volt Switch right away, but it paralyzed us with a Nuzzle first. Then they Volt Switched, which then, of course, my Leech Seed missed the Ambipom. Bit of a rocky start. At least Ambipom missed his double hit, but capitalizing on that just wasn't in the card since Executor was fully paralyzed that turn anyways. The next turn, both of us land our moves with the Monkey double hitting and Executor putting up a Reflect. This was a good opportunity to bring in Lucario to resist the normal attacks, but Volkner saw right past Past my plan using Thunderbolt. They Thunderbolt again, and I might as well nasty plot here since it would take two Aura Spheres to KO Ambipom, anyways. There's the third Thunderbolt, and Lucario clocks that monkey out of here even when holding a Choppleberry. Raichu's back for more, and I correctly predict the Volt Switch as I bring in Claydol to resist it. Now, even though I have the type advantage, Raichu leaves a mark on Claydol with Surf, then survives our Earth Power, all because it was holding a Shookaberry, and Surf's again, putting my Claydol into the red before losing to a second Earth Power. Octillery can obviously kill my ground type, so I switch in Floatzel to resist Octazooka, then to Luxray while Octillery does this. Maybe the rematch one does? Oh, dude, this guy's greedy. Holy crap. He's going for those sniper hits. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, that is crit. Oh, shoot. Holy crap, I lost Motham. Wow, that is a bad loss. Losing a Pokemon that can learn Quiver Dance without TMs? Dang. Luxray, please get the revenge for our shiny Moth. Since Volkner is likely to heal, first use Bite. Then shock the Octopus to death with Volt Switch to ensure a safe switch against Volkner's last Pokemon. I have Float Soul soak in their Intimidate and hope to incentivize a Thunder Fang attack. That way, Luxray can resist it upon switching in, also weakening their attack with our own Intimidate. I continue this process, swapping back into Float Soul to take the crunch, then back to Luxray with another Intimidate. This time I keep Luxray in to use Scary Face on our opponent, cutting their speed in half, which enables Lucario to outspeed them. But will Lucario make it out alive? Justified, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Called it. Okay. That's not doing very much. Only two? Oh, shoot. Lucario's dead, everyone. No, no! The, the Intimidates are coming in clutch! All right. So we just got a waterfall, right? Flinch? Flint? Oh, wait, the berry, I forgot. But still, flinch? No, no flinch. Okay, Floatzel's, Floatzel's dead. Sorry, Floatzel. There we go. Okay, two deaths. I didn't mind losing Floatzel. It was seeing my Motham die that really hurt me. After a fitting burial, we move on to opening more Pokemon cards. This pack turned out to have mostly duplicates of Pokemon that we've already used in this playthrough, and some were just not accessible in Brilliant Diamond. The only two valid options I got were... I think... Clefairy in this game. Wormadam and it's holographic. That's shiny. I used my Moonstone from mining earlier to evolve Clefairy into Clefable. And let me tell you, a shiny Wormadam is disappointing. It hardly looks any different. Anyways, before taking on the Elite Four, I had one last rival fight with Barry. And I'm going to highlight this one because I made a couple mistakes. First one being, I accidentally was looking at the wrong move set for Snorlax. I thought they would all be the same, but they actually differ depending on the starter they have, which resulted in this. Oh, it's got high horsepower. Wait. Oh, shoot. Wait a second. What did I what did I do wrong here? 
I need Luxray's Intimidate ability. So I Volt Switch him out of there with Executor to replace him, who also gets the kill on Snorlax. The next mistake was a much more problematic one. I underestimated this Rapidash. I had to call back Executor for Claydol, because at least they're only two times weak to Mega Horn rather than four times weak to it. I was hoping Claydol was tanky enough to survive another Horn attack, but that just was not the case. So Clefable is next. He was able to dodge a Poison Jab after increasing his evasiveness with Minimize, then recovered HP with Moonlight the next turn. Then our luck ran out. Wait, that... Oh, no! Oh, shoot. No! No, Clefable! I can't lose this. I can't lose this. Am I going to lose the berry? Mega horn. Why Mega horn? Why? Oh, it lived. Okay, we have to go Luxray. I, I have to weaken this thing as much as I can. But Mega horn has high crit chance, doesn't it? Was that crit? Oh! Oh my gosh, dude, this rapid ash is so bad. Don't crit. Okay, good, good. That, that, you can see the effect of intimidate there. Hit three times. Hit three times, Lucario. Four times. Hit four times, Lucario. Oh, good. Three times is good. Okay, good. The nightmare was over, but I still had to mourn over the loss of losing my minimized self healer Clefable and my Intimidate Mon Luxray. Wormadam was able to clean house with the rest of Barry's team, and I had one last booster pack to open. The pack of Arceus. Can Arceus save us? Cast form? Chimchar! Oh, Chimchar's good! Oh, Chimchar's good! Ball toy? Uh, we already got Claydol. Axu! Axu's good! Nose pass? Flygon? Yo, another- Oh, it's shiny! It's holographic! Shiny Flygon. Lipard? Not in this game. Fighting energy? Too busted. We're not gonna use it. Chinchino? Not in this game. Cleansing gloves? Float Soul. And that's it. My four options to add to the team were Cast Form, Infernape, Probopass, and Shiny Flygon. Celebrating the Axu pull was pointless since it's not even in the game. The two I picked were Infernape and Flygon. I think a good case could have been made for Probopass, but unfortunately, it did not have the sturdy ability, which would have been an auto win versus Cynthia's Garchomp with Metal Burst. The big downside to the duo I chose was that both of them had speed decreasing natures. However, one of them had a workaround to that, which you will see shortly. I EV trained everyone and got them as close to level 64 as I could since I'm allowed to over level once the first battle has begun. So it begins first with the bug specialist Aaron. Lucario has a phenomenal matchup against Dustox. The poison moth's only attacking move is bug buzz which Lucario quad resists. Now my gen 4 poster child may have a decreasing attack nature but I was able to remind her about swords dance thanks to my many heart scales. Once at max power Lucario lays the smackdown with meteor mashes. However there is a problem with Drapion. It outspeeds us and and has Earthquake. Fortunately, at level 56, Lucario learned Extreme Speed, which is a priority move that can one-hit KO Drapion at plus six attack. One down, four to go. Bertha is the easiest of the bunch. With my modest natured Executor, all I had to do was spam Giga Drain the entire fight. It also helped that our whole team was as slow as molasses. Flint, on the other hand, is going to be my real first challenge because that Rapid Dash could be the worst thing that happens to us. We have to dance. No! It lands the hypnosis! Iron Tail? Oh, miss! Oh, thank goodness! That's like the strongest one, too. Come on, Flygon! Wake up! Wake up! Yes! Yes! Yes, wake up! I need one more! Okay, we're faster. I I, I need that one. Because Steelix can one-shot us. And I need to be I need to be able to kill Steelix. Flame charge? Holy crap. Oh, no, it's faster now. Oh, shoot, man. I really don't like this. Fly we could lose Flygon to Infernape. Infernape is the only one I'm scared of now. That's the good news. That, that could have gone a lot worse. Look, we weren't even asleep that long, and we're, we're in the yellow. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one shot. That is a fully EV... Oh my god! 
gosh! Oh, that's actually... Uh, is it good? I, I don't know. Is that good? I thought we killed everyone on Flint's team. Where the crap is the health bar. Oh, it fainted. Because if I mess up one thing, I might mess up another. Okay, is Flygon gonna die? Is Flygon gonna die? You know what? I'm gonna go for the Rock Tomb. I know there's a chance to miss, but in case anything bad happens to Claydol, that speed drop can literally mean everything. So we're gonna do it. That might have been pretty dumb on my part. Yeah, but I was just... Yeah, I was just thinking how could I keep it to survive. Oh my gosh. You've, why did it do that? He just out mock punches me, right? That was dumb. That was so dumb. That was so my fault. We just got close combat. We should that, that should always win us. Yeah, because it knows it can't kill with Mach Punch. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Oh boy. I was really hoping not to have any deaths until Cynthia. Just a heads up, this champion battle is one of the most intense endings to any Nuzlocke I've ever had. I can't wait to show you, so I'll just skim over this Lucian battle. Pretty much Wormadam quiver dances until their light screen is gone, then sweeps through Lucian's entire team with bug buzzes. Now for the main event. Cynthia, will we fall or will we be crowned the champions of Sinnoh? You may be thinking this game is practically over with Wormadam quiver dancing six times in front of the spirit tomb. Things are going to get spicy. Trust me. After stalling all five of their sucker punches, Wormadam one shot spirit tomb with bug buzz. She fails to Oko Cynthia's Gastrodon, probably because of the minus special attack nature. By the way, what is with my luck and these terrible natures I've been getting? Anyways, Gastrodon did slow us down with Rock Tomb, healed with a full restore, then fell to psychic and bug buzz i gotta say things are looking good especially with rosary dying to a psychic even against lucario we just keep using psychic until cynthia stops healing with full restores leading to another demise for one of her mons here's the juicy part you've all been waiting for mylotic i think it'd be best to show you what happens the rest of the battle rather than commentate the rest It's freaking in us back. Oh, no. Urgh, I know this looks good, but dude, this guard chomp can literally sweep the team. Ice beam. Okay, there it is. Cool. We should live this. Yeah. yeah. Unless freeze. Oh, okay. You know, after Crasher Wake has gotten three freezes on us, I'm, I'm so terrified of ice moves. I'm so terrified of ice moves. Three freezes from one gym leader can scar you for the rest of the run. She's got one final Pokemon, but this Pokemon is just so freaking insane. Oh. <laughs> Towards Ants. Okay. Oh, no crit, please. No crit. Okay, good, good. That's fine. Get all your RNG out on this dude. Okay, bye bye, Executor. Did you poison? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Clay Doll's our only hope. We just gotta hope we don't get critical hit. I'm so upset. Let me look. Let me look. I'm, I'm gonna calc. I don't think anyone lives it, but we gotta. We gotta at least check, huh? Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. Twelve point five percent chance, to Oko. Flag on live. Would it be better to dragon dance? Cause then I for sure would get the the kill the next turn, right? Two twelve. What, that's like 60... 
Yeah, so Dragon Dance is not enough. So I have to go for Dragon Claw. Shoot. Go Flygon! Flygon, come on! Oh my gosh! Flygon, come on! Oh no, Flygon! No, Flygon, no! Wait, doesn't she have a potion? Wait, did she use all? Has she used all of her? Has she used all of her potions? Because here's the thing: is even if we close combat, we have to get a high roll, like the highest roll on close combat, and then we have to get a pretty dang high roll on extreme speed. My gut is telling me to extreme speed. My gut is telling me to extreme speed. No! I was close. So close. I could have EV trained Flygon a little more in speed, but without the bulk, it may not have survived the Dragon Claw. Maybe I should have leech seeded earlier, but Garchomp was ready to sweep anyways. Either way, I was so close, and in the end, I lost. All I ask is please like the video. Nothing else. Please just like the video. It worked with the egg lock, and these funky runs are some of my favorites to do. Do whatever you want, though. I hope you all have a good day, and just remember, stay away from Cynthia.